Let's move on to Hawthorne. So Sam Mitchell heads into his second year in charge of the Hawks. It's a young, inexperienced group of players. We know how much experience Jono they've um, they've let go of in the in the off season. What, what can you see Mitchell and his and his coaching staff implementing in terms of building blocks for the future this year? I think it's just, it's just an extension of of last year, and that's what he'd be hoping to to see. But you know, with, especially in regards to I think their their midfield and some of the growth in what we saw last year, in particular Newcomb, I think Warple comes in and probably plays you know an, a, a role of confidence again, where he's he's going to get a game early on, and I think we'll see the best of of Warple in in that uh, in that position and. My, my view goes to Sicily as, as skipper. You know, what sort of impact... There's a lot of new skippers in the competition, we understand that, but I'm just keeping a close eye on, on Sicily, I think, because he's got to stay on the park for 22 weeks. He's got to be aggressive, yes, in his contest, and he's got to set a standard, you know, defensively as well. But who else can he, he bring into his little bubble um, in leadership to help grow the team, especially when his position down back, who's he getting to control the midfield, who's he getting con to control the forward line when he's got other tasks to, to perform. So Sicily's a really strong watch for me and how he can really shape this group because of the way he plays his footy. Well, if you're Sicily, who are you relying on? Oh, when you go to the midfield, I think it's Newcomb. I know he's young, but he's the he's the main man sort of in in that uh, in that in that position. And Luke Bruce is your is your go-to up forward in terms of who'll play every week and can set the forward line up, and he, and he becomes a go-to to to certainly rely on. Yeah, they play an exciting brand of footy, but for me, they've still got a, a long way to go. So we look the numbers come before they've had five wins, seven wins, eight wins. I think they go backwards from the eight wins this year. I'm struggling to see them winning as many as that uh, in 2023. So they are certainly in it for the long haul. Just keep getting games into the young kids, sort out which ones are the future, which ones maybe aren't quite up to it. So got to be patient as a supporter with the Hawks. Um, Sam Mitchell will try and build a game plan that's going to stack up to win finals at the moment. It's quite offensive and they're getting a lot of runoff half back. But this is just going to be a, a real building year for the Hawks. I've seen a lot of growth through their pre-season. I really have. And, and I, I think that we're all just uh, quite quick to say they're young and they can't achieve. I think when you look at the Supermax, McKenzie and McDonald, they're going to take control of this midfield pretty quick. I know we talk a lot about Newcomb. And I'm not sure whether Newcomb's an All-Australian level player or just a good solid B grader. Mm. But he's going to win a lot of best and fairest. Mm -hmm. We can say that yeah. in this group. Um, his, his scope, I think, will dictate how quickly it comes. Jath across half-back, yep. combined with Everyone's Sicily, <laughs> Frost, Impey, uh, Hardwick. I think their back six is really solid. Or their back seven, whatever you want to call it, is really solid. And they can counter punch from there. They're going to win a couple of games this year that you don't expect them to win on the back of good coaching. I, I just, I'm fearful that, that they've gone so far backwards that the coach gets the full run at the next two, three, four, five years to see this through. But I can see the pieces building. I really can. Early in the year, too, they're winnable games. I mean, Essendon round one, I mean, the way that Essendon have sort of been pre-season, it's winnable. They've got North Melbourne round three, the Giants in round five, Adelaide in, in Tassie in round six. So hopefully, I mean, they play pretty well against Collingwood. So if they're up and about early, they might just get a few wins and build some confidence. But I think once we get through those winter months and through the middle part of the year with such a young group, uh, they'll start to Will struggle. Will Day showed a little bit, too, I think. What yeah. is he? What is Will Day? Is he a midfielder? No, I think he's a midfielder. Halfback. Watch him against the Cats down at GMHBA in the first practice game when they played eight quarters. His contest to contest work was as good as anyone on the ground where he was going from contest, forward switch to back half. He's the one receiving it on the wing on the other side of the ground. So it's going to develop for him in, the midf in a midfield role, but you're already seeing signs of a guy that's willing to work and work from contest to contest to support with numbers. And I think that'll just allow him to gather maybe 20 to 25s. That'll be quite effective. And that's what Sam Mitchell's got. He's got time to figure out. He's he Will Day a midfielder. Mm. He's Connor McDonald, a, a, you know, an inside mid starting best mid. He's a half forward, all those type of things. So he's got time to figure that out. You made an interesting comment, though, that they're going to make, they're going to win games at the back of smart coaching. You're a big rap of Sam Mitchell. Yeah, I am. I, I see what he's doing. I see the, the club that he's creating. It's, it's, it's unconventional. I mean, we haven't seen many clubs go this far back to, to come forward and it generally doesn't happen quickly. But he's of the belief that he has the premiership parts already at Hawthorne. Now, that's a big statement. I think if you look closely, you can see it. You can see that midfield building. It was pointless seeing the journey through with Mitchell and O'Meara and these guys. So they've taken the bullets early. Um, and I, I guess we have to stay strong with Sam. The board has to. As soon as they waver in their, in their conversation, he's in trouble. So they've got to be absolute. It's a new board. It's a new president. Yeah. So let's see how strong they can be. Well, he's only in his second year too. Mm. Uh, so predictions? You bottom four. Yeah, bottom, bottom four. But you, you don't have to be... 
They don't have to be a hopeless bottom four team. They can still mm. be a six, eight win team with, with a burst yeah. next year. I've actually gone just miss back of what you're saying of the Sam Mitchell in charge and seeing a couple of games that they got close to last year that surprised me.